everybody. This is a quick informational video. I got a Verizon network extender and I'm going to go through how to set it up to make sure everything's going to work properly. So what you're going to get is you got the network extender right here, antenna, GPS module, extension cable for the GPS module, and your power supply. So we're going to hook up the power supply but we're not going to plug it in the network extender first. So we're going to plug in the power at the very end. Uh, right here, we're going to push down and pull away to remove the GPS cover. Now, if you're going to keep the network extender right by on the windowsill, you can plug in the GPS module uh, directly in here. But if you can't have this by a window, what you're going to do is you're going to use the extension cable and for my setup I'm going to use the extension cable here. So I'm going to plug in this side here into the extender and right here you got a little cutout and you're going to push it in here so this way the cable comes out this way. So now what you're going to do is you're going to hook up your antenna the screw on antenna. All right. Now on this side here of this cable, the GPS extension cable, it says GPS antenna. So you're going to plug in your GPS module. Now for this, I'm actually going to keep it by a window. I'm going to put this by a window. That's why I'm going to run the extension cable. Now when you put it by a window, the letters GPS have to be facing up. And preferably, you want it like in a south or southwest uh, facing window. So now that we got everything connected to the extender, we got to hook it up to our modem. So right here, I got a router. So I got my modem and the yellow Ethernet cables connected to my router. So now what we're going to do, we're going to actually hook up the network extender to our router. And basically any available port here, I picked the last one. Now, the reason I'm using this cable is my router is in one part of the house. And this you can buy like a 100 foot uh, Ethernet cable. I got this on eBay for like 10 bucks. So this way you can actually put a network extender in different part of the house. So for example, if your router is like in the middle of the house and you don't want to rewire it and the extension cable, GPS extension cable won't reach by a window, you can use one of these cables to move this to a different room and then make sure that this is by a window. So I'm going to put this by a window here. Okay, so now I got everything hooked up. I'm ready to plug in the power. So GPS antenna, our little antenna here, and Ethernet connection to our router. So now we're going to plug in the power here. Now the thing with this is it can take up to an hour for everything to hook up and you want all blue lights, blue LEDs. Now one thing is this, so I bought this network extender on eBay, I bought it used. So when I went to call Verizon to activate it, they told me it's still active on the previous owner's account. So he had to remove it off of his account and then I was able to activate it on my account. And on the bottom there's a Mac ID, you just got to call them with the Mac ID. Now, once it's active on your account, what you can do is you can manage what's called a whitelist or a priority list or managed connection. I don't know, one or the other. Uh, what you want to do is you want to log into your Verizon wireless account and then top right, there's a search box. You want to type in manage network extender and it'll take you to a link. You then can actually manage your network extender. And the two options you've got are open access or managed access. The reason why you want managed access is this way your phones have the priority. Meaning like if you're in a, a populated area like in the city or something like that, what that means basically is if your neighbors connect, uh, you can you actually can, uh, can uh, basically you get the connection. Uh, they can only like if they dial 911, it'll let them dial 911 and it'll give them one connection. Uh, other than that, your phones have the priority. Nobody else can do that. So we're going to wait for it to hook up.
Now I'm going to show you how you can actually test it. So once you have all blue LEDs, the code you're going to dial is pound 48. Now here. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. You are not under 4G LTE network extender coverage. All right, so that recording, if you dial pound 48 and it says you are not under network 4G network extender coverage, what that means is you have advanced calling turned on. Now this network extender, it's a 1X and 3G network extender, so it's not a 4G network extender. Advanced calling is 4G only. So if you get the recording where it says you are not under 4G uh, LTE network extender coverage, what you gotta do is go to settings, advanced calling, and turn off advanced calling. So then if you turn off advanced calling and you dial pound 48, this recording, and right here it says 1X, so it's making a, a 1X call. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. You are not under network extender coverage. Please move closer to your network extent. All right, so this recording did not mention uh, 4G. All it mentioned is you are not under network extender coverage. That means your phone is set up for 1X, meaning if you come home, it'll actually connect. Um, now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to put the phone, I'm going to wait for all the blue LEDs, and then once the network extender is active, it locks onto a GPS signal, uh, I'll do a test call and that's how you'll know uh, if you're on the network extender coverage. Uh, also, if you're having difficulties, uh, what you can do is run what's called a VoIP test for your internet provider. So for example, from a laptop or your computer, what you want to do is go to VoIP test dot the number eight X eight. I'll actually have a link in the video and then I'll actually have another uh, video with how to run a VoIP test or how to what to look out for basically. So I'm going to pause the video now until it sets up. All right, so we got all blue LEDs and right here we got a symbol. It looks like a little house. Hold on, maybe it's hard to see. It looks like a little house. That basically means we're on the network extender, but I'll dial the pound four eight. Extender coverage. You are under network extender coverage. You are on. So basically, the setup is fairly easy. The key things is you want to make sure you, uh, you meet the minimum internet uh, requirements and that you have the GPS by a window. And as long as you got that, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, so make sure to read the description. I'll have everything listed in there. Uh, hope this helped. Thanks for watching.